I got friend that is completely love. But to get good results, you need to work hard. Getting a rank is all about love, but getting a good result is all about hard work. Namaskar. I am Pragya Priya Boya. I am a girl from Jorhat Assam. My mother's name is Janmani Boya and my father's name is Dilip Chandra Boya. I completed my class 10th from Maharshi Vidya Mandir Jorhat with 10 CGPA. I completed my class 12th from Pragya Academy Jorhat and I secured state rank 7th in HSCC exam. And currently I am pursuing MBBS in Guwahati Medical College after qualifying NEET National Eligibility Come Entrance Test during the year 2018. Strategy in the sense that I used to make monthly timetables and I tried to follow it completely but at certain circumstances, certain topics which I couldn't manage that I used to make adjustments and for every day I used to make morning timetables for the entire day or the day before I used to make the timetable for the next day and I really feel good that whatever I planned or whatever strategy I had, it really worked out well. I was not taking any private tuition or I was not even involved with any private coaching institute. So the only thing I had access to were books and teachers. So when it comes to boards, NCRT books are the main you have to be thorough with these books. For entrance, NCRT is again the key. Rather than that, if you want to know more of each and every subject, for chemistry, I used to follow modern ABC textbook. For physics, I used to follow modern ABC. I used to solve HC Dharma, but it is not compulsory that you have to solve it. There are solutions available online. If you are not able to solve it, you can access it. For maths, R.D. Sharma you can try and for biology when it comes to entrance, NCRT is the key as I already said and more than that there is a book from MTG called Fingertips. You can try that. It helps to revise the entire NCRT. Also you can try Arihan books for biology. These books I suggest will be enough. <laughs> During my 10th boards, I used to solve a lot of sample papers. Uh, during the 12th board, I solved the question bank that is available. There only you get all the questions of different previous years. But one thing I would like to say, when you are thorough with your NCRT textbook, you don't need to solve a lot of papers. But paper solving is good when it comes to understanding the format of the exam or the trend of the questions and to practice time management during the exam time. Revision is compulsory. At least twice revision is very ne very much necessary. So uh, during 10th, how many times I revised, I sincerely do not remember. But before 12th, I did revise, I believe I revised twice. <laughs> During my 11th standard, the beginning period, I used to have a lot of trouble solving physics MCQs. I used to be very sad. Then I interacted a lot with my teachers, my family, but still the grades were not improving. I used to practice a lot though, but with time uh, I practiced more and more and with time the grades really improved also. <laughs> So there is a difference, slight difference between hard work and smart work. So in your life also you will come across students that work really very hard, like they give a lot of time but the results are not as good as expected. But there are certain friends of yours only who will study very less but they will qualify or they will succeed. This is the slight difference I am talking about. So you have to work hard only but in a proper way you cannot just read everything as i said i would like to give an example for neat i would 
say that the biology part, when you study a subject like biology, say example, you're taking a topic of human uh, sy uh, systems like respiratory system or cardiovascular system. When you look into these topics, you can study the amount given in the NCRT book or, or a little more than that or you can open MBBS textbook and learn everything about that. But to qualify till MBBS that to the extent that is needed, that is enough. You have to understand that. Studying more and more of enough of something is not required. You have to study till the extent which is needed for the exam you are preparing. So that you have to understand. And to help with that, you have the proper syllabus with you, you have previous CR papers, you have your seniors, so you can interact and you can know the trend and to and the extent to which you need to be there. In test I got 94% but in the finals I improved a bit I got 94.8%. So managing time is a task. Whenever I interact, even now with my juniors, they ask me how to manage time, how to manage time. So when I see that uh, these days there are two groups of students, one who are taking extra classes like private tuitions or coachings, they have to go after they come from the college or the school, they again go after having lunch or such, they go and they return home very late, like nine or 10. After that, studying is really, they become really tired. So I would say that whatever they have learned the entire day, I would suggest them to revise it for at least two to three hours. But for the ones who are just depending upon college, not taking any tuition or not taking any coaching like me, I would say that you have ample amount of time. It's just about utilization. You just have to utilize it properly. Notes, I believe, are mandatory. So you can make notes only when you read the books thoroughly. Once you read the book thoroughly, you can just sum up everything on your own handwritten notes. Uh, notes are like, were like super helpful for me individually. I even now in MBBS, I make notes. So it's such that when you find a difficult topic, you just summarize it in, it in your own easy language and write it down somewhere. It is super helpful and it also helps to remember very, very fast. So how to write an answer in a, to a question in an exam? So the length of the answer, it will depend upon the marks. The more the marks, more you have to write. There, I would like to say here that there is a conventional thinking that when you are in CBSE or ICSE board, you don't have to write much. But when you come to Assam boards like SEDA or AHSSC, you have to write lengthy essays. Myself, a student who passed 10th from CBSC and 12th from Assam State Council, I would say this is not true now. I don't know about the past, but not now. You have to mention all the points that a question deserves or the invigilator would like to see. So when once you mention that, there is no point about cutting marks right now, these days, because I did that and I got the results. So I believe that. And how regarding how to write the answer, I would say try to include as much as diagrams you can when it comes to science and include flowcharts because when you make it very, uh, when you include more points in a shorter answer, the invigilator is far more happy and try to include more points. Pointwise writing is always good. Make good margins, make the copy neat. And whenever you are not sure about an answer, you would like to cut it down. Do not cut it like too much. Like don't make drawings there, just cut it with a scale and a pencil or with like one line or a two line, that is enough. Uh, when during the exam time, 
be it three hours exam or two hours exam, I used to write very fast. I try to complete it previous to time. Like if it is a three hours examination, then I used to complete the paper two, uh, two and a half hours. So that half hour is left for revision or confusions and all that. So what I used to do that whatever questions I was sure I used to complete it very fast and whatever questions I used to have doubt even now also I leave it for thinking upon it later. So when I complete the questions I am clear with then I again come back and then I decide what to do whether to write it or not how to present it the ones that I had confusion and then I revise the entire copy and I always try to finish it in time. Three months before exam, the strategy to prepare, which I followed, is that I tried to complete the syllabus uh, by December. Like the exam is during Feb, so the course should be completed by November last or December beginning. And after that, try to complete the entire course twice thrice more the number you can better it is so the main goal for now is to complete the course as fast as you can and then give your entire time to revision clear your doubts as fast as you can and just give your time okay, one day before exam you should see that you have nothing untouched beforehand do not open any new topic whatever you have studied just look into everything like at, don't give time to think whether you remember it or not just look into the main topics and don't worry you will remember everything in the exam hall and uh, try to sleep early the day before the exam do not study late nights the things i am telling right now are for boards not for normal exams for normal exams it is very common so you should sleep early, you should try to sleep early even though it may be difficult, it was even for me and try to wake up early and try to revise again certain topics which you feel you are not sure of and then pray to God, eat well the day before exam, do not eat junk foods during the exam tenure or even before that because you are in a lot of stress which is very normal and during that time you can't take risk with any kind of health related issues so try to remain healthy and believe in god and revise everything how much you can sleep well and go for your exam okay so when it comes to internet i had my own personal phone after 12 so i used to use my parents phone whenever i needed so back then watching YouTube videos uh, like today was not that common. So I used to Google the things. So it wasn't that helpful for me also. But today when I see my juniors, my cousins, my brothers and sisters using it like for understanding every bit of a concept, I feel it's a blessing. So you can uh, surf any kind of videos there and you can understand the concepts there are many videos for each and every topic so it is very helpful i believe when used properly when it comes to inspiration my grandfather mr dharmesha bora he is my constant inspiration for life more than that my teachers during my maharshi school days and my teachers of Pragya Academy, they inspired me like anything. And my seniors, whom I see that by working hard, they have achieved what they wanted, that inspires me a lot. For entertainment, I like to sing and listen to songs. Uh, even I learned music. So before 10th, I used to get time to devote to music. But during the 11th and 12th period, like giving time extra to something was, I found it difficult. So for relaxation, something that I found was watching TV with my family. So for like half an hour during the night time, I used to watch TV. Right now for entertainment, like there are so many things, singing, 
social media, Instagram, Facebook, what not. <laughs> So future plans, as I already said that I am pursuing MBBS. So it is a course of 4.5 years. So you have to, you have four professional exams which you have to do during this tenure, and then you are complete with MBBS. After that, you have to do one year internship in the college you study, and then you do one year of rural, uh, rural posting. After that, again, you have to give certain kind of entrances. For now, it is a neat PG, INI set. You can search it in Google, but it is suspected that with two, one to two years, it will be changed to next. So with these exams, you qualify for another course that is MD or MS, that is the masters. So either you go for medicine, that is MD, or you go for surgery, that is MS. That is a course of three years. So these are the basics. After that, you can do whatever degree you want to take. There are many options. But for now, MBBS and MD are like must in today times. And as you all know, only for qualifying to MBBS, you need to crack NEET and you need to score higher. These days, the cutoffs are also increasing. So this is a profession quite very long but it is not like it's not uh, it is a very long profession as you see but it is a very satisfying profession and it is a very it is one of the most noble ways to serve the society so when it comes to my future plans i would like to do md in a good subject and then i would see what can i do and i would like to uh, stay in assam in the future and serve the society. I would like to open a hospital and serve the society here. So that's all I have. So one advice I would like to give to my juniors, that is a general principle I follow and I believe that the amount of hard work you give, the amount of result you get. Hard work is directly proportional to results. I got rank, that is completely luck. But to get good results, you need to work hard. Getting a rank is all about luck, but getting a good result is all about hard work. And I believe I'm a very average girl, and whatever I got or whatever I achieved through my hard work, I believe every one of you can achieve that with hard work in the proper way so i believe you will find the proper way and you will achieve whatever goals you want serve the society so Muktaka, i have uh, in during this lockdown i have been associated with some kids in my locality so they used to tell me that we get papers from Muktaka. so i never knew about it but now that my uh, these dadas have approached me to interact with you all through this platform i feel really thankful and i feel blessed more than that i feel uh, it is a very noble step towards the society and towards the education uh, it is uh, as it is completely free of cost which is the biggest benefit for uh, in this uh, in these times so I believe it is accessible to all the students of all the communities be it urban or be it rural so I believe it is a very noble step and I wish all the best and I uh, all my best wishes are with uh, my brothers <laughs>